Like you're surprised? She's always late. It's the makeup. It's always the makeup. If she's not beautiful, she stays home. She'll be here. And she's got a great story. Yeah, well, we have rules. And if she's always gonna be... the get up down you geek i'm doing this for effect I'm sorry my tale is one of woe it has been told around many campfires but i'm here to tell the one true version first i'll need some help with the midnight dust i got it <clears throat> go for it submitted for the approval Night Society. I call this story The Tale of the Prom Queen. Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> oh, back off, champ. You guys always hang around graveyards and scare people? Hey, we're just having a goof. I'm Greg. This is Champ. We didn't mean to scare you. Sure we did. No harm done, right? Uh, what's your name? Dee Dee. What are you doing here by yourself? Bringing flowers to a grave. Or maybe looking for ghosts. Like us? What's the matter? Can't wait for Halloween. Forget Halloween, my dear. Saturday night's prom night. The night of the prom queen. Prom queen? You don't know the story of the prom queen? Uh, no. Well, don't you live around here? 
I used to. Uh, I'm just visiting. Oh, what's an old story? They say that... Oh, let me tell it. I tell it best. It happened a long time ago. On prom night. The girl was waiting here by the gates for a date to pick her up. She was all set to go, wearing a prom dress and everything. But it was a foggy night. Truly fog. The kind where you can't see cars coming till it's too late. So there she was, waiting in the fog, when a car came whipping around the corner. Some say that the driver was bombed. As he took the turn too wide, he bounced over the curb. And he hit her. Smack! And the slime just drove off. Didn't even realize what he'd done. They found her the next morning. And a couple of days later, they buried her. In her prom dress. That's awful. That's not the best part. It gets better. Oh, yeah. Every year on prom night, the ghost of the girl comes back. People have seen her by the gates. Still waiting for the ride that never comes. And we're going to see if it's true. Really? We've been looking for a grave that might be hers. Kind of juvenile, huh? I don't know. Sounds kind of cool. You want to help? It's a big cemetery. Come on. Greg thinks you're a babe. Oh, what's wrong with you? Sure. Why not? Sounds kind of creepy. Excellent. Let's go ghost hunting boys and ghouls. find a grave. So what? Are you going to finish that? Mm. All I'm saying is I want to find out if there really was a car accident. This whole thing could be a waste. Do, do you want the rest? Oh, I'm not hungry. Maybe we should go to the police. They got to keep a record of accidents. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, excuse me, officer. We're doing a little bit of ghost hunting. Can we look through all your files for the last hundred years? Get real. Well, we could check newspapers. Newspapers? Yeah. If it really happened, there would have been an obituary or a story on the accident. Excellent. <laughs> They went to the town library to scan old newspapers on microfilm. They started back in 1950 and worked forward, searching for any article in a young girl in a fatal car accident. And they found it in 1956. Wolf, stop. Read that. Oh, this is so neat. I've never seen one of these. Girl killed by hit and run on prom night. That's it. <gasps> it happened just like you said. Fog and all. I love it. What's it say? Uh, local girl. Night of May 7th, 1956. Her name was Judy Larson. Says she was waiting for her boyfriend Ricky Mitchell to pick her up, but Ricky's mother said that he never got the message. Oh no. When Ricky heard what happened, he got so upset that he drove his car, a 1955 Chevy, off the Mianus River Bridge. He died too? They say it was an accident. And they never found him or the car. Excellent. Two gruesome deaths. For the price of... What was that? Ah, uh, you're just getting spooked by... Who's that? Where'd you children 
like some tea. <laughs> Good comeback. No. And you were scared to death. Oh, like you weren't? Hey, I was cool. Yeah, sure. If you guys get so scared over an old lady, what's gonna happen when we see the ghost? This is getting so old. No, it's not. It's just getting good. I say we help Judy. Help a ghost? Well, yeah, according to legend, Judy's ghost shows up every prom night waiting for a ride that never comes, right? Yeah, so? So, we just read that Ricky never picked her up because he didn't know he was supposed to. Judy, I'm here! Where's little Ricky? Shut up, champ. What are you saying? I'm saying we try to contact Ricky's spirit and tell him to pick her up. Yeah, like it's seance. Cool, this is getting better all the time. Guys, you're going way too far on this. There's really no such thing as ghosts. My parents go to the movies on Friday. We'll use my house. No. There's only one place to have it. Where? Pay me back here tonight and I'll show you. Oh, a mystery. Who knows what will happen when the lights go down? We'll be here, my dear. You don't really believe all this stuff, do you? I don't know. It's kind of fun, though. What do you say? I say that you're kind of a strange person. But I like that. He went over. And they never found the car? Yuck. Psych. Let's go to the marina. Why can't we just do this right here? Because this isn't where it happened. We just have to concentrate. Let's hold hands. I can't believe we're doing this. Close your eyes. Clear your minds. Try to imagine Ricky. Think of his picture in the newspaper. To contact Ricky's spirit, we have to picture him. Think of what happened that night. Try to picture an old 55 Chevy. See it driving onto the bridge. Ricky's behind the wheel, and he's very upset because of Judy. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Shh. Concentrate. Imagine Ricky driving. He's very upset. He's driving too fast. He turns onto the bridge, but at the last second, the car swerves. It skids, and the Chevy crashes through the railing. And it falls. And it hits the river right here. Now picture the car sitting on the bottom of the river, filled with water for years and years. Ricky's inside. What was that? Concentrate. Don't open your eyes. Keep picturing the car sitting there underwater. Ricky's grave. We're trying to contact the spirit of Ricky Mitchell. Ricky Mitchell. Do you hear us, Ricky? What was that? Bubble spoonfish? Or a rusty Chevy? If you can hear us, Ricky, we've got a message for you. On the night of the accident, you were supposed to pick up Judy by the cemetery on Weaver Street. She's still waiting for you. She wants you to pick her up. This is stupid.
gas. That wasn't what we thought it was, was it? No. It could have been a leaky water main, it could have been a switch pipe, it could have been some kind of natural gas pockets. Or a ghost taking an evening spin. No! I don't know what it was, but it was no ghost. How do you know? Because there are no ghosts. Ghosts aren't real. Well, one way to know for sure. How? Oh. Tomorrow night, the graveyard, prom night. Be there if you dare. Brave kids. Stupid, but brave. The next day, they check the cemetery records. Found the name. Judy Larson. The grave they were looking for. Yes. The grave. There she is. Do we wait here or what? Maybe we should split up. No way. We're staying together. Well, let's wait down there. We can see the road to the gate and the grave from there. Okay. You don't really believe all this stuff, do you? I mean, you're just doing this for a coup, right? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Does the legend say when she's coming? It's getting cold. Midnight. It's always midnight. Do you guys feel as stupid as I do? Wait. Do you hear that? What's that? It's wind chimes. That could be anything. That could be the wind through the trees. That could be something on a grave. That could be anything. Ghost. Huh? Look. It's her. Oh man, it's her. Greg, don't. No way, man. I'm not buying this. Crazy, don't do it. I gotta see. Who are you? It was Jam's idea. He made me do it. A jam? <laughs> gotcha. It was awesome. I thought you were gonna have a cow. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. Chuck, guys. Guy's my cousin Chuck. Hi. Check this. Pretty spooky, huh? Ooh, ghostly green. Ooh. You're a dead man. Come on, guys. It was just a goof. There aren't any real ghosts. But last night... Give me a break. You really think there was a ghost car driving underwater? Hello, anybody up there? <laughs> You're losing teeth. Come on, Greg. It was a goof. I swear I don't know who it is. It's not a Chevy.
couldn't leave the cemetery unless someone brought me with them. And then you solved the mystery of why Ricky never picked me up and got him to come. forget you. Society close. Until next time, pleasant dreams, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 